the biggest question that a lot of surgeons have for me is, well, how do I describe this to a patient? What am I doing for you? What am I actually improving? So most of the patients will do this 90 second workup and will show that they in fact don't have a good healthy ocular surface. And the simple thing I may do, because there's always a mirror somewhere in my lane, that I will show them, hey, look at that lysamine green stain. Or I may say to them, how do you do when you wake up in the morning? And, and they may have an aqueous deficient dry and they say, guy, I don't see very well until I put some tears in. Or on the other side of the coin, they may say, you know, by the end of the day, boy, you know, I'll rip my contact lens out or I want to like put something in because my eyes are really irritated. And there is so much more screen time that we have now, whether that's related to our computers, our cell phones, our iPads, more people are working from home. We're wearing these masks now that are creating a dry eye. So I look at those patients and I encourage them to understand what the ocular surface disease process is. And then I tell them about, hey, you know, babies are born healthy for a reason because they're enveloped in this amnion that comforts the baby prior to being born, provides the baby with this unique environment that is healthy and safe. It protects them from inflammation. It protects them from, from bacteria and other potential harmful agents. Well, we're using a portion of that that is donated, that's from a healthy delivery, and that can actually help your ocular surface because that's a pluripotential organ. That's a pluripotential opportunity to make better epithelial cells so that you can have a better ocular healthy surface so that you can heal better postoperatively, whether that's from refractive surgery or whether that's refractive cataract surgery.